Okay, welcome to the next part in the OpenStep 4.2 of the Intel install guide. Okay, hopefully by now you should have installed OpenStep 4.2. Um, on actual hardware, you might have got decent graphics by now. Um, in VMware or any other virtualization software, chances are you've got a screen that looks something similar to this. Um, if you don't have VMware, um, what you'll need to do is you'll need to jump from this one um, straight to the patching section where we deal with installing um, the different patches because patch 4 will give you um, the VME um, the visa drivers. Anyhow, so I've got a ISO image that I prepared which contains drivers for um, open step, next step and Rhapsody. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all the drivers to the home directory. There we go. Then I will double click on each one in turn and select an archive. Okay, so that's an archive then. Then what I'll do is I'll go into um, the directories and I will find the .config files, the ones with the little machines in them. Double click on that and it will open configure and it will add them. Now I've already added them um, so I can install a mouse driver um, but when you do it it will come back up saying successfully added. So again I'll do it for the mouse and then for the frame buffer and then for the network and now that will add them all so what we do now is we can actually go and add the devices now I've already added the mouse and I've already added the, dry, um, the network but I'll show you how I did them okay so first of all under display remove the existing one and then add And then when it detects the VMware, obviously if you're on a machine, you'll you know you'll uh, use the relevant driver, whether or not it's Super VGA, whether or not it's Diamond or whatever. I don't know. So click on Add, and then we can select the display mode. I'm going to go for the display, which is native to my MacBook. Um, obviously, depending on what machine you're on and what driver you use, um, the display modes might look a lot different than this. You know, you'll have uh, you might have two-bit color, you might have eight-bit color. You might have 24-bit color, you might have 32-bit color. Right, so that's done. Now the same for the mouse. You will remove the old one, click on Add, select the mouse, Add. Now it's very important, when you see desktop layout by here, you've got to enter the right values. So in this case, 1280 by 800. So this is basically um, the width and the height, the geometry of your display area which you set under display mode in the device, um, the display device driver. Then you can add the networking one, so again remove and then add and then the VMware and again for the sound, remove then add and then add the sound as the 16-bit PCI. Once that's all done you can hit save and then you can quit. Now one very important thing you want to do here is if you double click on the clock it will load up the preferences. If you click on the padlock you'll have an option here saying set. So if you press set it will ask you to type in a password then it will ask you to confirm it Oops. And then it will say password has changed. You can then hide that and then log out, log out. It will restart the Windows server and you'll end up with this. And then all you do is press restart, restart again, and that will restart the machine. So now you'll have the drivers installed. And the next stage then is installing all the patches. Okay, now that the host has restarted, it should end up looking something like this. So first thing you want to do 
is log on as root. Second thing you'll want to do is set a root password. Okay, so I will just reattach the next text tool CD ISO. <coughs> And on the ISO, I have got the patches directory, which contains the patches for 4.2. Right, so what will need to be done is you have these files called user. So what we do is copy all the patches across to um, the me directory. Okay, so all those files have now copied across. So it is a case of going into the 4.2 directory, into patch 1. Now you'll see here where it says user. If I go into patch 2, it will say uh, user, profile, and dev. Now the way these works, um, basically um, I've made these a bit smaller than normal. Uh, normally what it will say is, for example, on patch 4, it will say OS42 um, dev patch 4, OS42 um, Mac Pro, uh, plibs, uh, patch four. Basically, if it just says I don't know OS four two patch four or OS four two patch three or whatever, that's basically um, the bare patch for a minimal install. Um, basically, a user install. If it says dev, it is the patch to apply once you've installed developer. And if it says profile, it is a patch to install if you have got the profile libraries installed from the developer packages. So, given that I have no developer packages on here yet, I'm just going to double click on user and then go to an archive. Then I will double click on the package. I will select install. Um, if you are developing for Quad Fat or um, on OpenStep Intel Next Spark, um, then you will select all three, hit install. Bingo. Now you need to do this for all of them. Um, However, it is wise, once you've installed patch 1, to restart, then install patch 2 user, restart, patch 3 user, restart, patch 4 user, restart. After patch 4, you go into preferences, into the clock, and then you can set. Even though this is um, running at March 2010, because it's running off net info, chances are um, some things won't work as expected with this current thing. So you set the right time zone, set the right time, set the right date, and then congratulations you have a fully functioning OpenStep 4.2 Intel user installation. You can then continue on and install developer with the patches, enterprise objects with the patches, web objects with the patches, you know. Um, you know, you can use the system. I hope this guide has been of use to you. Um, there will be more coming along in the future, such as installing OpenStep 4.2 Developer, uh, doing various systems administration tasks involving NetInfo, um, and just general uh, next step and OpenStep hints and tips. So thank you very much for watching.